What's happening, Troy? Hey, how you doing? So the, the Lakers had mentioned that they wanted to get bigger, uh, you know, more athletic on the wing. Just wondered if you had seen that as a fit once the process started and what those conversations were like uh, before you uh, ultimately made your decision. Um, I definitely think it's a good fit uh, just for me in general. Um, kind of, oh, sorry. Wow. <laughs> well, that's one straight right there. Right, exactly, for sure. And of course, it's show. Cal. Oh. <laughs> um, <laughs> But no, I definitely think it's a good fit for sure. Uh, just being able to come in here right now and be able to give some length um, on the defensive side of things. I definitely feel like I'm at a point in my career where I'm shooting the ball a little better. So just being able to be complimentary and be able to do the dirty work for certain guys and be able to take you know some pressure off some guys I think would definitely help. So me and coach have definitely had some talks and uh, just talking about being able to use my length and my size and what's best for the team. So I think, I think it should work out good. And just to follow up on that uh, with Darvin and those discussions, kind of the way that he sees defense, the way that he sees you fitting in, what, what were the main points of emphasis from him? Um, just talking about pace, um, being able to get out um, and play faster, even on the defensive end, kind of speed up offense and stuff like that for other teams and being able to put pressure on guys where we can close out and then get out and run and transition. So I think it's definitely something that we've been talking about and something that we're looking forward to. Have you been able to um, talk to some of the other free agents that, that were added this year um, that are coming in? I mean, because the, the Lakers have this sort of movement where they're trying to get younger, mm -hmm. you know, get faster, like you said. And, and have you been able to talk to some of your new teammates and, and get a sense for sort of the energy that some of the younger guys might bring to this team? Uh, the only guy for me personally I talked to was Lonnie. Um, we work out together here and there. So um, I see him at the gym. But the biggest thing for us is just playing fast. I think for us this year, just being able to get on the break and you know, being able to run and space the floor for guys and give guys opportunities to work, I think is definitely something that will be huge for us this year and definitely give us a lot of advantage and use our size, size and speed and athleticism. So. The other picture they just posted before you walked in, mm -hmm. looking at your uniform, you had this look of, I don't know, awe of, <laughs> what was it? I mean, the idea that it is the Lakers, they have won championships, yeah. it's Brian James, it's Kobe, it's Magic, it's a lot. I think the biggest thing for me, like at that moment, was like kind of like when I was talking to Rob, we talked about like I came here for pre draft and they really liked me, but like he keeps saying, they didn't have the high enough draft pick because I ended up going 15. So, like for it to all come full circle and then have a jersey, you know, like five years later, I think that definitely was kind of like hitting me at that moment. So, it just shows you know, everything works out eventually. So, so yeah. Dan on Zoom. Sorry, I'm muted. I'm Rusty on Zoom. Hey, Troy, Dan Wakey with the LA Times. Um, what is What do you think is important for you as you kind of continue to evolve as a player? You guys come into the league like you came into the league so young. You know, that's not who you are going to eventually be. What's kind of your – hold on, Cam, sorry. What's kind of your growth uh, – your growth curve? Sorry. Sorry, I got a little guy here. Uh, what's sort of like what, – how do you view kind of your growth curve in this league? And, and what's sort of the – what are the next steps? I think the league is changing a lot. Um, so for me personally, I think the two biggest things is just being able to be reliable on defense and being able to knock down shots, especially in the corners, you know, with guys being able to create so much and being able to get to the basket whenever they want, just being able to be that outlet for them. Um, I think that's the biggest thing right now, and that's what's most important. Yolan, do you have a question? Um, I was listening coming in, so I don't know if this was already asked, but. You showed uh, some playmaking ability in, in Washington, and uh, you know, were more of a catch and shoot guy in Chicago. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm curious, do you, know, do you anticipate maybe you know, busting out your, your playmaking a little bit more here, um, or, or do you envision more of the, the catch and shoot role you had in Chicago? Um, I definitely still have the playmaking. It's just more so of what I'm asked to do. Um, I think that's the biggest thing is I'm definitely a team guy and definitely want to win. So it's one of those things where if I'm asked to be 3 and D or if I'm asked to be a playmaker, I can definitely adjust. I think my vers versatility is the reason I, that I'm here in the NBA. So I, I definitely still have it. I'm always working on it. I just feel like as of right now, I feel like I've been asked, like you said, in Chicago, as of recently, I've been asked to be more 3 and D. So. Um, yeah, if the opportunity comes, I'm definitely comfortable with the ball in my hand and being able to make him plays. But it's just one of those things, like I said, <clears throat> whatever is best for the team, whatever is going to get us the most Ws. So, Dave on Zoom. Hey, Troy. Welcome to LA. David Benham with ESPN. Uh, what's Darvin been like uh, so far in this process? I know it's been pretty short, but what's your initial impressions of him? Obviously, it's a first year 
head coaching job for him in the NBA? He's excited, and I love it. That's the, that's the biggest thing I'm taking from it right now is he's very excited. Um, he seems like he has kind of his plan, and he knows what he wants to do with us, and he's just ready to implement it and make sure that we're all comfortable in the roles that we have and making sure that everybody knows the style of basketball we're going to be playing this year. So that's the biggest thing is he just seems really excited and very enthusiastic right now. So that definitely makes a guy like me feel happy and definitely makes me feel more comfortable. Kylie, have a follow-up? Yeah, um, I was wondering if, uh, you know, Malik Monk coming here last year, um, kind of uh, building up his stock and, and getting contract this offseason, did that story resonate with you at all? Was that used in, in any of your pitches to, to kind of uh, get you here? Or? Um, not really. Uh, it was more of like what was best for me and what was best for the team and just making sure it added up. Um, I'm lucky and happy to be in the Lakers, but I think it's just one of those things as a free agent, you know, so you just you got to do what's best for you and go for the opportunity that you have. So that's definitely one of those things, like as an NBA player, you look and you see it and you're like, okay, I respect that, but based off of my decision. Uh, so. Christos on Zoom. Hey, Troy, Christos on Zoom. Congratulations, first of all, about your next step. Uh, what depressed you most about the talks that you had with Coach Ham about next season and how what is your main expectation about the role that you will have in the team? Um, I think the biggest thing is just for us to be able to play fast. Um, that's the biggest thing that we've been talking about, just being able for me to get rebounds and outlet or being able to push the ball and then just spreading the floor and giving guys space. So I think all that kind of runs together, and that's definitely been talked about a lot. Mike Trudeau. Troy, just zeroing in on defense for a second, uh, what's your biggest comfort area? Do you like defending other big wings? Do you switch over to guards? Do you feel comfortable going down and, uh, into the post and holding up? Like, how, how do you see yourself on that end as you as you continue to evolve? Um, <clears throat> I feel like I definitely like to guard like smaller guards that um, usually like because I feel like I can take up the space. So like if a smaller guard is getting to like step backs or he's getting like through contact and then he's trying to create space, I feel like I can close those gaps based off of my length. And like, that's why I've definitely like kind of worked on my body a lot since I've been in the league is just be able to be a lot faster and keep up with guys like that. More questions for Troy? Uh, Dan, you have a follow up? Yeah, just two quick points. Uh, Troy, first of all, as a, as a Pac-12 guy, how does it feel <clears throat> playing in Penn City now? <laughs> <laughs> uh, as a Pac-12 guy, it actually feels good to be on the West Coast. Uh, it feels good just to be out here, very familiar. And, and then I guess secondly, uh, you posted something on, on, on Twitter about Kobe. It's your pin tweet. Um, BT mentioned a little bit, but whether it's Kobe, whether it's LeBron, what's it like to kind of be around or sort of in the, the, the sphere of the people that have inspired you? It's dope. I think it's one of those things where when you're in it, at the moment, you don't really appreciate it as much as you probably should. But when you look back on it, you're grateful for those interactions and grateful for that stuff because I feel like it sticks with you a lifetime. And like I said, like at the moment, it's like there's going to be moments where Bron's yelling at people and stuff like that, and you're, you're being a teammate. You're not thinking about it. But then it's like a couple years down the road, you look up and you're like, damn, like that might resonate with me somewhere else or – you know, something like that. So I think it's definitely one of those things where as a player, you have to soak in those moments when you can, but definitely not like harp on it. But, but yeah, I think it's definitely going to be a good year and I'm looking forward to it.